Now, our next performance is by Taylor Fry in the category of songwriting. Make her welcome. Good luck. <laughs> Hey, nice shades. Thanks. Aren't they the latest VJ Sunnies? Yeah, Mum got them for me. You were so lucky. Layla has been saving up for a pair of those for weeks. What do you have to do to earn them? Wash the car? Clean your room? Mow the lawn? No, she said I liked them, so she bought them for me. Oh, I'm sorry, love. The garage is full. We can work around them. I just don't get it, man. I could have sworn that disposable undies for the travelling man would be a hit. Maybe 10,000 pairs was a little excessive. Mm. You got anything, Marge? Oh, lovey. This is not good. This is your right, you know. Things aren't looking good. Maybe I'm losing my knack. Never. Mm. Hey. Business is slow, love. Really slow. It'll pick up. Will it? Of course it will. You want to know why? Why? Because you are the underpan king, Donald Fry. Mm. Say it with me. I am the underpan king. I'm the underpan king. Louder! I'm the underpan king. Louder! I am the underpan king! Oh, don't make it sound like it's a good thing. OK, I've got a better one. What would your parents say if you wanted a phone? In your room? I have a phone in my room, Hector. Right. Brittany, here you go, darling. Here's your afternoon snack. Thanks, Mum. I would do anything for someone to be waiting with an afternoon snack for me. It's just that I'm really not that hungry. Don't be silly. You always have an afternoon snack. Now, we've got five minutes to shower and change, and then we have ballet. Chop. Yes, Brittany. Chop, chop. I hate muffins. Oh, well, uh, let me lighten your load. Bye, guys. See ya. Mmm, they have the best food. Mmm. Mm. And how much cool stuff can one kid have? Mmm. Mm. And her family's always so organised, isn't it? She knows exactly what's going to happen next. Dead collector. I'm sure of it, he's been hanging around the store too. Stay, stay low. Father and I have something we need to tell you. So tell us. The thing is, the bottom's fallen out of undies. But a boom. Shh. There's no more bread in boxes. Mm, like the other one better. It's funny. What your father is trying to say is that the business is going through a rough patch. Oh, that'll be Ben. Layla, leave it. Yeah, right. Layla, we are serious. Sit down. Now. I need you to help me avoid the debt collector. Just until I work out what to do. So no more answering the phones, OK? OK. Layla? But... Layla? OK. And no more answering the door, either. Really, Don? Don't you think that's a little bit extreme? You don't know what these people are like. They're pros. What if the FBI are after us? The FBI don't operate in Australia. The CIA, then? They don't either. Scotland Yard? Nope. Hector, you're being difficult. And you're being a drama queen. Look, business goes up and down. There's probably nothing to worry about. Why is my dad so worried then? Maybe he's a drama queen too. Hector. What, he is related to you, isn't he? Look, your parents will sort it out. And what if they don't? Then you can be a drama queen. Every December, we have our Grade 7 Performance Day which is your chance to let your hair down and have some fun. Cool. But there's a twist. Two twists, actually. 
Firstly, this year's performance day has been scheduled for Friday. But that's only four days away. Which is what makes it a twist. And secondly, I have several categories in this hat. Your act must fit into whichever category you draw. That's the end of the rules. Everything else is up for grabs. So, who would like to go first? I can't believe I got dance. Songwriting. How stupid's that? Oh, yeah? Juggling. Nothing's worse than juggling. Except for mine. That sucks. Mum's going to be so thrilled. Uh, Brittany, could you do me a favour and not mention the performance day to my parents? Then they won't come on Friday. Let's just say that my mum and dad have a long and ugly history of upstaging me at school events. Speak of the devils. Hey, Squirt! Jump in. Family meeting. Now, I've been thinking. Uh-oh. And I've come up with an idea. Great. Can I go now? Now, do you remember my cousin Des? No. No. Oh, come on. You remember Des? Runs the big menswear store in Brisbane. No. Well, OK. I've got a cousin, Des, who runs a big menswear store, store in, in Brisbane. Brisbane. So you do remember! Oh. Des has always said that we should go into business together. And I think now might be the time. Of course, I need to speak to him about it first. Wait. How can you two go into business together if he's in Brisbane? We'd have to move. To Brisbane. Yeah. I hate Brisbane. You've never been there, Layla. I know people who have. It's an incredible business. And Des hires real models to show off his products. Male models? Yes, sweetheart. It's a men's restaurant. Take a look at this. It's his calendar. Did I tell you they put out their own calendar? Genius. In any case, I, I just wanted to put it past you. See how you'd feel. I love Brisbane. Sorry. I can't go to Brisbane. I can't leave my friends. Oh, it's OK, Taylor. You're an important part of this decision. And nothing's been decided. Everything's still up for discussion. <laughs> Anybody home? Hello? Sure, you've got enough, Layla? I'm meeting male models, Dad. I need to look my best. Ow. Are you sure you'll be all right staying at Brittany's for a few days? I think I'll go. You call if you need anything. We'll be back before you know it. Hey! I'm good. I'm really excited. This is going to be so much fun. I know. Oh, That's so cool. If Taylor's bed's made up. Welcome to our home, Taylor. I've made you an afternoon snack. Thanks. Ah. Afternoon snacks are for outside. Be a good girl, will you? And just remove your shoes and leave them at the front door. We've recently introduced some new household rules. There's a different set for every room. You do speak Latin, don't you? No. Oh. Oh, dear. Don't worry. Don't feel bad. Brittany will translate for you. We might be able to slip in some tutoring just to cover the basics. Um, why don't we let Taylor settle in, dear? Yes, dear. Well, make yourself at home, Taylor. Can't wait to listen to your new CDs. This is so cool. We'll be like sisters. No. <gasps> um, Manum Badum Existo Lauto Super Ingressus. Hmm? Your hands must be washed upon entering. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Eddie, into 
course, good Brittany, chin up, plie, and hips parallel, no twisting, into fifth, and... I'm sorry, can I try again? No, 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 let's just stop there. Obviously, a plie in fifth is a tad too challenging right now. We'll have to think of something more achievable for the performance. Hey, what about a modern dance? Hey, yeah, that's a great idea, and uh, I can't uh, Daughter of mine is going to be seen in public doing modern dance. But mum, it's just uh, fun. No buts, Brittany. Now Taylor, I believe you drew song composition for the performance. You're welcome to use our new keyboard. Only don't forget to wear gloves. Gloves? Even with the keys are getting grimy. Now come on, Brittany. We have elocution at six. Go on, be a rebel. Excuse me? Be a rebel. Play without the gloves. She'd have an absolute conniption fit if she found out. Do I want her to have a conniption fit? Well, at least there'd be a bit of entertainment around here. These people don't even sneeze unless it's scheduled. There's nothing wrong with having a schedule. Everything's so dull. I like those people next door. They're always laughing and having fun. I wish I lived on their mental peace. They don't have a mental peace. I'd settle for a side table. Anything's got to be better than this. Look, they're not that bad. You're just being a drama queen. Stick around. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> this is so much fun. You should come stay more often. Yeah. If we don't move to Brisbane. Seriously think you have to go? I don't know. Dad's having a few business problems. I'd miss you so much if you left. I'd miss you too. Lights out, Brittany. I won't tell you again. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Okay. I know Loretta likes everything a certain way. But I also know that I'm getting perfectly scrambled eggs for breakfast, along with freshly squeezed orange juice and my uniform will be ironed and I'll be at school on time. And I won't even have to think about it. Oops. <gasps> no! Blue sponge is for the floor. The green sponge we reserve for the bench. I knew they were very... Organised? Clean. But they have wipes for everything. And five different sponges. I get this. You have to wear latex gloves when you want to play the keyboard. <laughs> Ow! Can you quit that? I'm sorry, but I have to learn by Friday. Juggling's easy, Hector. You just have to find a rhythm. Where'd you learn that? Dad taught me. I just wish he was here to help me with the song. Hey, Dad. It's me. Taylor. Okay, squirt. Hey, you'd love it up here. We're having a blast. Let me talk to her. Hey. Dash. Hello, darling. Hi. How is everything? Uh, everything's fine. Just great. F -f 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 -feet. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Well, I've got to run. Des is waiting. Wish you were here. Bye. I wish I was too. Uh, no thanks. Uh, I've got a hanky if I need it. <laughs> Taylor. They're for the phone. Delio phone prohibio morbus. We disinfect the phone, the handset, after a call, just to stop germs from spreading. Bet you don't think I'm being a drama queen now. Nice gloves, by the way. Shut up. Seriously. Don't let it bother you. She's a control freak. Who says it's bothering me? Even a deaf 18th century composer can tell there's something on your mind. Well, it's just that I kind of feel bad. I can hear that, too. I think it's my family. I think... I think I miss them. Yes. Well, family was never really my thing. Now, if I had my time again, I... Uh, excuse me, Mr Beethoven? Yes? This is about me. Right you are. So, you miss your family? Well, yeah, but... It's more than that. How so? I've always felt like I didn't belong with them. Like I belong with someone else. 
but now... Don't worry. Living here would be enough to make anybody appreciate their roots. Even grumpy old me. Now, that's enough. I'm not a fan of deep and meaningfuls. Sorry. I'll get back to writing my song. Now, that I can help you with. Seriously? Well, modern-day songwriting's easy. Especially the way you're feeling now. I don't get it. Just write down all the turmoil you've got going on, add music, and you're done. Simple. Especially the opening. Yeah? yeah. Excuse me. Hi, I'm Mike Tucker. Oh. Do you live on this street? No. S sometimes. I'm looking for Mr. Don Fry. Do you kids know him? No, nope. do we guys? Never heard of him. Me neither. It's a pity. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how hard this guy is to track down. Well, he's very busy. I thought you said you didn't know him. I don't. Then how do you know he's very busy? What she meant to say is, you know, he must be very busy since he's so hard to track down. Excellent. Mm. Right. Well, I'll leave you with my card, OK? Mr Fry lives in this house. If you see him, call me. That was close. Thanks, guys. Uh, um, Taylor? Wasn't that guy supposed to be a debt collector? Oh, louder, Hector. Says here he's a sales representative. For Beaumont Travel Goods? Hey, we got all our designer luggage from them. What would a guy like that want to speak to my dad for? Maybe he's low on undies, I don't know. Wait! I'll be able to help you get in touch with Don Fry. What exactly was it that you wanted? Well, I heard that Mr Fry had invented disposable underpants. I was going to put it in order for a few thousand, but I'm out of time. I need them by tomorrow morning. Can you meet me here at 8am? <laughs> Beautiful day. He'll be here any minute. He's here. I've already marketed several lines of underwear. Temperature control thermals, calendar undies. And yeah, here we are. Disposable undies for the travelling man. Brilliant. I'll take 2,000 pairs and make that a standing monthly order. Right. I always knew they'd be a hit. So Marge, I guess the tea leaves aren't always right. Huh? What on earth are you talking about, lovey? Well, the other day when Don asked if you could see anything in the tea leaves, you said, ooh, lovey, things are good. Oh, no, lovey, I meant my tummy. Oh, had a run in with some dodgy oysters. I was on the loo for days. I always knew there was a place in the market for them, you know? Mm. When I first designed them, I was... OK, I don't get it. I thought you wanted your dad to fail so you wouldn't be known as the underpant chick. Hector. I am the underpant chick. And my dad, he's the underpant king. Come on, I gotta go juggle some balls. Now I've got a song to sing. <laughs> Next up, we have Brittany Floon. Brittany will be performing the modern dance style street funk. No, 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 there's some mistake. No, no, my daughter doesn't do street funk. Brittany? No. Head the 
this time. I'll try harder next time. Oh. Next performance is by Taylor Fry in the category of songwriting. Make her welcome. Good luck. <laughs> 